All right. What's going on, peoples? It's your boy DB4, Die Before Me Gaming, and welcome back to Dragon Quest Echoes of an Elusive Age. Now, I turned the game back on, and I started to notice that every time I turn the game back on, we get a little recap. So I thought I might just let you guys read that. Just to get a little update to know where we at in the story so far. So here's what happened. So basically, after we escaped from the Knights of Heliodor, we ended up at the slums. Downtown Manhattan. <laughs> no, downtown Heliodor. <laughs> But yeah, now we're just trying to make our way back because we're trying to find this jewel that he hid in the garbage. Our guy Eric. But his friend stole it, so now we're trying to retrieve the jewel. So let's get it going. And I like those little recaps because in case you've been... You know these RPGs can get daunting, man. You might have to take a little break. And you can just know where you was at and get capped up on the story every time you log in. I think that's a great feature. I don't think any RPGs had that before that I can really remember, but it's an amazing feature, nonetheless. And look, our barrels have respawned. Are they going to be generous enough to have something in them? Because you know how we are with barrels, people. We smash all barrels, man. What's up? Nothing. Nothing. Ah, uh, they didn't respawn any loot. It was worth a try. Let's check these barrels. Not all the barrels gotta be empty, right? Come on, man. Nothing. So I guess once you crack the barrels, they don't let you double up on the loot. That would be kind of OP. Now, as far as the rapids up here, I'm pretty sure I got all of the chests. Well, I'm not pretty sure. I hope I got all the chests. Because for now, I think we're going to move on. There is one thing I was thinking about. Before we move on to the town, obviously we have to buy some gear. We only got 319 now. I was thinking maybe we go back out and go training a little bit. While we do have access. But first things first, let's buy some more weapons. Yeah, let's buy some weapons. Well, actually, I should buy armor. Yeah, I think armor will make us stay alive longer. So let's go buy some armor. Then we'll go out for a quick training session. Get some more cash just so we can gear up. Because I'm taking this a little bit too light. And I'm not really respecting the draconian quest side of things. So I'm going to purchase two pairs of boxer shorts. Yep. Absolutely. Another pair of boxer shorts. For Eric. And I'm also gonna purchase a leather shield for myself. And I have a way we're gonna get some money back. I just realized something. Let's take the pot lid. Equip that, yep. We're actually going to sell some stuff, too. Let's sell... First thing first, let's go to the equipment bag. Let's sell all the plain clothes we have. We have three sets of them. We don't need all the plain clothes right now. We'll sell that. We can sell a pot lid for sure. Oh, no, I'm not sure if um, Eric can use that. Let's just keep it for now. Um, the, the Wayfair's clothing, you can sell that, and I'll sell the extra pointy hat. Because we do want to try to get that dagger for Eric, get him this upgrade. So with that being said, let's sell his Wayfair's clothing. Now I'm wondering if I should hold on to this sword or if I should sell it. 75 gold is a substantial amount of money. And I'm not going to be using the sword so far. Hmm. I'm going to hold on to it for now. 
Yes, I'll hold on to it for now, and I guess I still need to sell something. Um, I can sell my set of Wayfair's clothing. Yep. Anything else? Nope, not for now. Good, now we got just enough to get this dagger for our boy. Then we can go out and slaughter some more mobs. Alrighty there, my good man. Bronze knife. I'm calling it a dagger, but it's a knife. Extra two damage, man. That cannot be scoffed at. Give it to Eric. Yep, equip. Now let's clean up our inventory a little bit. Before we head out, let's clean up our inventory. Okay, I'm fully equipped. Um, let's organize. Free anecdotal. Two moon. Well, we can get rid of some um, anecdotal herbs into our item bag because we're not gonna. We, we haven't been getting poisoned yet. So until we start getting poisoned, we'll. I guess carry one anecdotal herb a piece. And I bet you as soon as I say that we get we accidentally get poisoned. And I will transfer some more of this to Eric. He's gonna need it. He doesn't have a heal spell, so he might get caught out without healing. So I got I always want to keep at least four on them. Paralysis. Let's give this to Eric too. Try to give him one of everything. Sleep in her bisque. Eric. Alright, now let's figure out his inventory. I can't sell this, so I'll just transfer this to the equipment bag real quick. Your inventory management is a thing in these old school RPGs. I'm sorry, but gotta do it. And I guess I'll transfer this to the item bag. I want to keep the inventory as clean as I possibly can. Because they do pick up items, and if you don't have enough inventory slots, it won't go into your accessible inventory. And sometimes you forget. And you end up not having the correct things on you. Oh, you can sell the Drastillian coin. Yes. How much can we get for that? Drastillian coin. Woo! No longer legal tender, but can be sold for a few gold coins? Okay. That's more than a few gold coins. Yes, I will take. Man, we could have afforded the leather armor this way. But it doesn't matter. Um, items. Let's go D before me. Let's go to the equipment bag. I want to see if he can, if Eric can use this shield. They didn't prompt an equip. Oh, he cannot equip. All right, let's just transfer it back to the equipment bag. We won't sell it for now. We'll hold on to it. Now let's run out and get busy. But right, before we go, we gotta make a confession. Always making confession before you leave town. Let's do some divination too. 50 experience. Oh yeah, we're still at 50 experience to the next level. So yeah, we're gonna get a, le a quick level. All right, we, we've done our divination. We've done our confession. Got about 50 experience points to the next level. Let's go. Yeah, it's back out this way. Now, I'm not going to do too much backtracking. But it's, I figure since we at the very end of level 6, we might as well go get the levels now. And farming is going to be helpful. So we can stay geared up with all the items. And I wouldn't mind getting another round of... Sparkly teams while I'm out here. I think I know where a few of the sparkly spots are at off the back. To the back of my hand since the last time we played. One back here. 
There's a couple of triple node spots too I want to hit up. But for now, we'll hit this tree up after we fight this guy. Let's try to catch him up. up. Now we can test Eric's new ability. Fight, attack. Attack the platform. Oh, we do got that sleep skill too. We attack the platform too. Took him out. So this guy got about 20, 21 health. Anywhere from 20 to 23. Who else wants some? <laughs> oh, we got 14 XP for that, so we still get an XP for the platypuses. Platypus. <laughs> the platypunk. They, they actually designed that for platypuses. Five damage. Oh, I guess because we did hit him. Oh man, Budokins. You know what to do. You know what to do. Catch the butt on that guy too. He doesn't have an ability. Let's go Budokin Archers. Oh, I attacked the wrong guy. That's harsh. Hope he don't call for backup. Oh, he can handle the Budokan by himself. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna have to do... Physical damage doesn't hurt him that much. Maybe we'll just cast the spell. He had a lot of protection from physical huh. damage. Easy XP, perfect. A couple more of these and we should be good. Alright, let's go get the few items. Let's check the map. Okay, we can go north and catch four items up there. Well, we might as well. It's not gonna be too much time. And plus, we get another chance to look at this beautiful scenery. Yeah, I'm gonna stay away from them Budo Kings. They not gonna troll me with eight archers again. Screw that. Yeah, there was one right over here. I knew I saw something. Alright, here we go. Cotton cup. Now, I do do a lot of crafting. I usually do a lot of crafting in these type of games, so this is why I'm going out of my way to make sure I got some supplies early here. Because the amount of monsters in the wild and the, the amount of encounters you can face does go up a lot towards the mid to late game. So let's get it all of these really cheap, quick. And it's not that risky in this area now because we did quite level up a bit, get some armor. We got some, we got a little attack item. Our boy Eric is dealing more damage. Good. Alright, let's run down now. And I guess we'll go get the last one and we'll head back. Did I forget one up there? No, I didn't. Alright. So watch out for cubs. You know them cubs for one shot you. And the dodo herb, I'll take it. Alright, we can head back now. That's a little face. Is it one over here? No, it's not. Alright, let's go back. These stumps. I like to catch the stumps while they're sleeping, too. Alright, one sleep, one awake. Good. This way we can take one of them out while the other one stays asleep. We're being a little brave, not hailing, but... You should be able to take care of this match without healing. Oh, he's using medicinal herbs? Oh, these guys are dangerous. Still sleep. 
Oh, uh, this is gonna be annoying. So he's basically gonna eat up my spells. Uh-oh. Oh, this could last for forever. And what makes it so bad is these guys hit hard. So I have to be a healer. And that's never good. Man. Fridge. Good, we got rid of one of them. Good. Alright. Yeah, as long as they attack, we will be alright. Yo, these stump Another chunks one ain't no bites chunks. the dust. 22 gold coins. I mean, 22 XP. Oh, yeah. It's pretty good. Yes, let's raise our skill points right away. Something's off. Hold on. Okay, let's go into sword skills. And this is six. Or, you get Uza Bruiser. This is four. Crit chance when wielding plus two percent. I think I want to save up for sleeper hit. Honestly, I do. Let's check me. Swords, um, flame slash. Oh, I do have flame slash. I haven't even been using it. Attack power when wielding swords. Crit hit. Yep, I'll go attack power when wielding swords, obviously. Give me a boost. And Eric, I'll wait. Because I want that sleeper hit. I want that sleeper hit early, too. It's going to be crucial to stall an enemy so we can heal up properly and everything like that. We did get the level we were looking for, so we don't got to engage in many more battles. Even though we could. We might not get the XP for it, but we could always use the money. Hmm. Maybe I will fight the Splash Tank on the way out. Could always use the cash. Budo King. Uh. Take care of the object. I'm just gonna flame slash this guy. I forgot I had this move. Ooh, flame slash. That's what I'm talking about. That's some damage. How much he does regular now? Hmm, pretty good, pretty good. The party doesn't earn any experience as the enemy was too weak to warrant it. The party acquired 18 gold coins. So I guess we don't get things. We don't get no XP from anything in this area most likely. Maybe the stumps. I'm not sure what level the stumps are. How do you check? Can you check? Hmm. I wonder if you can check what level these monsters are. I don't know. Maybe... I'll wait, I'll wait. I'll, f I'll figure that out another time. Because I want to know if I, how, how can I tell if the enemy is weaker than me before I engage him in battle? Because I can't really run. So, it's not like I can just run from the battle if I engage somebody weaker. Alright, we're good. We got our levels, we got our equipment. Time to roll. Man. Nothing. Confession real quick. Alright, we made our confession. Now let's do some divination. 288, not bad, not bad. 
Not bad. Yo, I feel like that gold coin, well, that silver coin we sold, helped us offset a lot of the money we lost. We lost about 287. I can't forget it. But yeah, we, we were able to offset a lot of that. With that $500 coin we sold. Amazing. Now let's go talk to this girl about this dog. Nice one, Bullseye. That great big coward of a guard nearly weed himself when he saw you. <laughs> nearly wet himself. What do you think you're staring at? Get lost. You what? You want to borrow the dog? Yo, this, this is some of the best NPC dialogue I've seen in a, in a long time. Ah, the funny berries on the big tree, huh? Guess who just came from the big tree with the funny berries on it? I wonder who? Oh, I gotta go buy some Oli water. I was <laughs> going buy some Oli water for Ollie. All right, hold on, don't I have a holy water? If I'm not mistaken. Let's check the item bag. I got fresh water. I really don't have a holy water? I could have sworn I had a holy water. Anyway. Guess it was fresh water. Alright, let's go to the, the, the shop. And get the holy water. Oh, I didn't buy the holy water. I had an opportunity to buy it. That's why I thought I had it. All right, I'll buy two just to keep one. I might have to scare away some weaker monsters. Did I buy it? Did I buy it? No, I didn't buy it. Is that that's good? Really? really, I didn't buy it. I could have sworn I bought it. Did I not agree? Let's check. No, it says own. None. Who's going to carry the purchase? Oh, okay. Uh, put it in an item bag. That's why they didn't give it to me. Okay, 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 lady. That's enough. That's enough. What you got in your pots now that I've made a purchase? Nothing. Alright. The inventory management is a thing in this game. Let's head out of town. Where was this girl? Where was her story? Oh, she's a trained sorcerer, but she's hungry. This the guy's paranoid about people stealing from his shop. And has the water for old Ollie. Got the berries in the holy water. Ah, that's why she wanted the holy water. So the monsters won't come near him when he go outside. That's cool. <laughs> Alright. Good, we got the dog to work for. Let's roll. Is he gonna follow us? I guess he is. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Isn't that the old lady that was up there? That is the old lady that was up there. Hold up, doggo. Let me get a second. The old lady isn't cock blocking. Let's go check that side of town. Yeah, she left. See? Let's go. What were you hiding, old hag? Hey. 
Alright, alright. Seems suspicious. I knew it. I found pot. One pot, to be exact. Okay. Oh. Weird. It goes that way, and I'm definitely gonna see what that's about, but first things first. Oh. Let me not just do some trickery with the camera. There's nothing that way. Great, let's go this way. Go along the wall. Easy does it. Now let's type rope this. Oh, this gotta be light at the end of this time. Oh, we can crawl. There's all type of crawl spaces and ups and downs. All of this for some pot. 30 gold, not bad, not bad. 30 gold. And a guy up here. Oh, and a chest. Are you serious? A pair of boxer shorts? You mean the same boxer shorts I just spent $100 on? Oh, man, that hurt. They did it to me again. Oh, Camo. The king of hide and seek. Okay. All right, tell me the top secret. <laughs> Reckon I can call some havoc with that. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this guy is crazy. Yo, that little kid wanted to write a letter as Roxy. So I, I bet you he's gonna fool some of the dudes in town. Who mischievous kid, man? Walk along the roof, huh? All right, let's get back to it. I'm pretty sure that was it. Now I feel, oh, I'm so upset, man. All of that. I want my hundred dollars back. Do your thing, doggo. Halt! This gate leads to the nice part of town. My job is to protect respectable people from being bothered by rabble and riffraff. In other words, you. Hmm. Ah! No, no, not a, a, a dog. Anything but that. <laughs> <laughs> Worked like a charm. Now to head up to where all the rich folks live and find out what the heck Dirk thinks he's up to. Talk all of that shit. I'm gonna run off because of the dog. Thank you. Yeah, Bullseye went barking after the old bloke. All right, let's go. I want to hell your door. Oh, we're back in hell your door. I wonder if we gotta like duck and hide from the guards at all? Do we? Hold on, let's talk to 
Eric, and let's see what he wants to do. You know, I've been thinking. Oh, Derek <sighs> shot by the castle. Well, we are, yeah, we are most wanted, so let's, let's be easy. Yeah, see, everybody's warning people about the fugitives. Good thing I got my trusty bandit hood. Nobody's gonna suspect me now. It's not like they gave a description of a guy wearing a purple sash with some green boots or nothing. Ah, oh, this well's blocked off, eh? Now, wait, wait. I still have a quest here, right? Let's check. Yeah. Quest catalog. It takes two to ten gold. Did that. Underway. The so yeah, the soldier and the strategist. Eastern part of town. All right. Oh, no. What did I just do? I just did a quick hail somehow. Anyway. Eastern part. I'm on the eastern part of town. Alright, coming up from downtown, there looks like there's one place we could search. And let's search it. I don't think we went in this place before. What's in here? I hope nobody don't worry about us sneaking in their house. Smashing pumpkins. Sorry about that. Oh, flint. Flint stuff. Hey, we got a bookshelf, too. The Soldier and the Strategist, a tale of two heroes. Found it. Yeah, you guys can just read along with this. want me to tell him about the book after I read it? Alright, cool. Let's go upstairs. Well, can I make it through the town without getting caught? Can I make it back to that guy? More pots. Don't mind me. Just smashing your pots for your nine go. Don't wake up or nothing. This guy don't got no gold in his hand. Oh, oh, he's up drinking. Oh, just pots over here. Don't mind me. Just smashing pots looking for medicine. This dark spawn notes bad news. They say it's gonna trigger calamity. That'll end life as we know it. Don't sound too good, does it? <laughs> oh, can't get out that way. All right, let's get up out of here. Let's get out of here. Let's go try to find Derek's shop. No, let's try to find that guy we owe the quest to. Where is he? If we go straight, we should be able to head right up to the steps. Hopefully there's no guides. This seems like a bad idea, by the way, Eric. You seem... Hmm. Yeah. You seem real... This doesn't seem like a great plan for you to be so intelligent. Yep, I found the book. Yep, 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 whatever, whatever, blah, blah, blah. What do you got for me? Strategist and a hero. They're jerks, by the way. Oh, a Drastilian shilling. Oh, my good man. My good man. Yeah, they're even more amazing than I thought, too. If their stories can cough up shillings. Yeah, these dudes are amazing. Go sell the shilling off immediately. Yep, yep, yep. We've got shillings for sale. Oh, no. We don't want to buy anything. See? Not only could I have bought the leather armor with the shilling sale. Oh, come on, man. Let's 
So the shilling. Just oh, hold on. This one is only worth 100. Oh, so it's a copper one. So I guess they got copper, silver, and gold. That's usually the tears, right? So a gold one must be worth a thousand. A gold one must be worth a thousand. Gold. That's amazing. See, now I'm on a shilling hunt. Alright, let's go. Maybe up by the castle. That's what he said, right? Oh, I thought I triggered a cutscene. Hold up. The guards aren't. We don't need to find another way to get to the... Okay, 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 okay. There are guards up there. Yeah, duh. Thankfully, we've already creeped along the rooftops, and we know the perfect way to get up there now. If I'm not mistaken, there should be guards. I'm looking for a ladder there. I think the ladder's up here, if I'm not mistaken. And I most likely am mistaken. Let's try to... Is it back here? Yeah, there's that ladder. Yep. The old thief route. That's how I got the black cat. Alright, let's go up. We should be able to jump over from here, right? Yep. See, I remember this. Do we jump from here, though? Or from there? Let's try from here. Alright, get your jumps ready. Let's go. YOLO! That didn't work. Alright, alright. I got it. 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 Oh, barrels, barrels, barrels. Almost missed these. See? That's why I missed it. I noticed these barrels down here. That was totally not a fail. Totally. Totally not. Neither was that, neither was that, neither was that. That was on purpose too, that was on purpose too. Alright, up the ladder you. You bloke. Alright, we can't jump from this roof, so we're gonna need to pick a new roof. Hmm. It definitely feels like we should be able to make that leap. But, you know. can't make it up oh, that's why we can't make it it's a clear path duh use your brain all right now we good are they gonna notice this all right whatever where's this shot oh some rich dude did buy this house didn't he I, I, I already took this stuff. I was already in here. I remember. Which house did the rich guy buy? Was it this one? Yep. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Flossing. Flossing with all that money. Look at him. Bet you this is it. Look at him. Nice place you got here. Welcome, welcome. Feel free to browse. You'll find we only stock the very finest wares. Oh, finest wares, you say? <gasps> That's good. Because I'm looking for something very special indeed. Yep. Happen to have any orbs in stock? Yeah, garbage orb. Eric! Don't Eric me, or him. Long time no see, old pal. Cough it up. <laughs> Let's go, Eric! Eric! My, my brother! My compadre! My, my partner in crime! It's, oh, it's really you! Large as life and fighting fit! I'm so happy to see you! What the hell? What was that? You have no shame, huh? Get your backstabbing hands off of me! You always were full of it, Dirk. But this really takes the cake. Admit it. 
You sold me out and sold the orb so you could buy this place, didn't you? Didn't you? I never! I promise you, I never sold you out! I was worried sick about you. I only opened this place to try and help you! Sure. Oh, yeah. And how does that work, exactly? How does you opening this place and lining your pockets while I rot in jail help me? Look, I was never much of a thief, you know that. But it turns out I know how to sell stuff. I got a gift, even if I do say so myself. <sighs> this guy. When you got nabbed, I spent months racking my brains for ways of busting you out. I couldn't stand the thought of you being in there. In the end, I realized I'd have to give up the orb. I took it to the king, told him I found it somewhere, and pocketed the reward. Then I used the cash to open up the shop here, and poured all my profits into bribing the guards up at the castle so they'd let you escape. Yeah, right. Hmm, now that you mention it, I did think it was weird they never tossed my cell the whole time I was digging that hole. Exactly! I was paying them to turn a blind eye, weren't I? Yeah, right. <laughs> <sighs> okay, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I doubted you. Partner. You believe this guy? You believe this guy? That's a spirit! Eric, old pal, it's so good to have you back. But I need that orb. And now we don't even know where it is. <laughs> oh, yes, we do. Right this way, gentlemen. <laughs> We're not gonna leave this antique shop without searching around, are we? He's gotta have a pot or two around here. Come on, come on. This guy's got money, right? Come on. Come on. Oh, I knew, I knew it. He thought he was so slick. Did I smash these already? Probably did. Mini metal. Let's go. I don't know what those do, but I found one. I think I found one of those before too. It was hotter than any metal up there. I wish I could access these jars. They look like they're full of stuff. Come on, man. What else you got? Give me the stuff, man. What are you guarding? Nothing? What you got to say? The magnificent de Okay, okay. Time to go. Time to go. Mrs. Doorknob over there. So, where is it? After I handed over the orb, I made sure to keep my ears to the ground about where it ended up. I knew it was important to you, see? Well, a little bird tells me that Endrick and his men took it to the King's Barrow, and it's been under lock and key there ever since. King's Barrow, huh? The King's Barrow, huh? <laughs> mm -hmm. Same thing. That's southeast of town. Same direction as Cobblestone. Well, that seems like our course of action. Which means we can kill two birds with one stone. You coming, Dirk? A little adventure for old time's sake? Doubt it. Sorry, no can do. I've got a shop to run and I'm a married man these days. Oh, so he's married to Mrs. Thornog. Married? Wow, you really have changed. Well, you always said you wanted to settle down and maybe go into business someday. I'm happy for you. We'd better get going. Take care, Dirk, and thanks for everything. Alright. You so too, Dirk might have been pal. a good guy Pretty after lucky, all. Eh? I don't trust him. The south gate is crawling with guards. We won't be walking out that way. 
and Hendrik's men are too uptight to take bribes. Guess we'll have to go the long way round. If we skirt round the hills to the south, we should be able to approach the King Sparrow from the other side. All right. We can drop into Cobblestone on the way. Okay, let's head back downtown. All right. Watch yourselves out there, eh? They don't call that forest round there the Mangle Grove for nothing. There's plenty going there and never come out. Ah, right, now we gotta go to the Mangle Grove. I see. <laughs> It'll take more than a few kids' stories to scare us off. And besides, it's the only way to get there. All right, off to the Mangle Grove. Um. We gotta go out this way, yeah. Well, we can just jump down now, can't we? The church is here. We don't need the church. We'll get the church when we head back downtown. Yeah, let's head back downtown. We'll hit the church up downtown. And say our confessions. Downtown. Oh, pots. Nothing. Just for that. Is there something up here? No, I remember jumping into this yard early then. Yeah, I keep mixing up the yards and the passages. have all the cash we're gonna need we gotta <laughs> look at your boy over here jamming do your thing boy go Roxy there right, we out so we got enough cash weapons medicine time to hit the road let's make our confessions Alright, we made our confession, so it seems like a perfect time to stop. We'll continue with the mission next time we come back. But thanks for tuning in. Make sure you hit me down in that comment section. Let me know what's going on. Make sure you hit that like button. And subscribe, folks. It's your boy DB4, and I'm out, man.